Reiji Okazaki was a Japanese molecular biologist born on the 8th of October 1930. After graduating from Nagoya University in 1953, he made groundbreaking discoveries about the way DNA is replicated in 1968. He did this by making bacteria replicate, and through careful observation, he found that one DNA strand is active and the other is… lazy. Okay, but what does that mean exactly? First of all, your cells clone themselves. Like, all the time. To do this, everything inside the cell needs to clone itself as well. This includes the genetic code, your DNA. It has something called a double helix structure, which just means it's made of two spirals going in opposite ways. The strands are held together with DNA bases which pair up in a specific way, and to replicate, it first needs to unzip. Okay, simple enough. Then, it needs to rebuild itself again by connecting DNA pieces lying around to itself. Now, this rebuilding can only happen in one direction, but we mentioned earlier that the strands go in opposite directions. How does that work? That's when our hero comes in. Reijo Kazaki discovered for this DNA replication to work, one strand, the leading strand, builds itself up normally, but the other, lagging strand, rebuilds and glues itself together in short bursts or fragments. Okazaki fragments. To prove this, he took some radioactive hydrogen isotopes and gave it to some E. coli bacteria. After letting them replicate for a set amount of time, he extracted the DNA and spun it really fast in a centrifuge. This is ultracentrifugation, and lets any heavier, denser material, like long leading DNA strands, sink towards the bottom of the test tube, and vice versa for lighter material, like the lagging strands. Lo and behold, they found lots of radioactivity near the top of the test tube, showing evidence for the lagging strand. This was a huge discovery. He, alongside his wife and team of researchers, had made new advancements in their field. They were now up there with the greats, Watson and Crick, Rosalind Franklin, Morris Wilkins, until he passed away in 1975 of leukemia after being exposed to lethal amounts of radiation from the atomic bombing in Hiroshima 30 years earlier. Although he may be gone, his legacy and contributions live on and his wife, Tsuneko Okazaki, continues research to this very day.